everyone, it's Kaylin Calendar from Lake Hope State Park. To start this video off, we're going to play a little game called Antler or Horn. You guess which one is in each of the following pictures. Okay, so that last one was a little bit of a trick. Great horned owls actually don't have horns. They have ear tufts that they can move up and down to help them camouflage and to also make them look a little bit bigger, even though they're one of the largest owls in North America. So here's the difference between antlers and horns. Antlers are bony extensions of the skull found on male members of the deer family, with the exception of female reindeer or caribou. These extensions are usually forked and are shed and regrown annually. You can see on this male deer or buck, the pedicle that is responsible for the growth of the antlers each year. In contrast, animals such as bovine will have actual horns. The horns are made up of a bony core on the inside that's a permanent structure attached to the skull. This bony structure on the inside is very porous, similar to a pumice stone, and supplies the horn all the time with lots of blood to keep the keratin sheath that surrounds the bony core uh, living and growing, just like your fingernails and the bone inside your finger. Photo period, or amount of daylight, controls the annual antler cycle. In the springtime, as antlers are starting to grow, they're covered with skin and a short fuzz, also known as velvet. This helps supply the antler with blood while it grows. As testosterone increases in the deer in late summer, the velvet will slough off and the bone will harden and be exposed. Antlers are typically used to mark territory by rubbing against trees and used to fight with other males for mating privileges. If you do happen to find a shed antler, look very closely at it. You might see little scrapes or chew marks along the antler. This is because many gnawing rodents, such as mice, chipmunks, even squirrels, are going to take a little nibble on these antlers and other bones too for a calcium boost. Thanks everyone for joining me today. Remember, the next time that you see one of these in the woods on or off of a buck deer, show it a little bit of appreciation. Until next time, stay happy and healthy.